and welcome back to my channel it's nearly that time of year it's almost valentine's day so why not come get ready with me for valentine's date night don't forget if you enjoyed this video to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you can see what more i have to give for you and let's get going with the video so first up all i've done is just put on my moisturizer so i'm now going to go in with my primer today i'm using the nyx pore filler primer base that's this little bad boy here so I'm just going to take some of this, it looks really weird, I was freaked out when I first saw this but it's actually really good. It looks really strange, I don't know if you can see there, but it looks really weird. It's kind of like foam, which is strange, but I like it, it works. So first up we're going to use that and we're going to just prime my face, so it's easier for all of my bits and bobs to work in. is that all done now we're going to go in with some liquid illuminator again this is from nyx this is the born to glow liquid illuminator that's this little one here these all came in a ready prep go kit that i got from nyx which i think is fab i use so many of the little things out of it this stuff is also really cool it's really shiny and it does make you look like you've wiped your face with some grease paper but but when you put your moisturizer on it gives you that really cute nice little glow that you're looking for okay so right now i look really oily and like i need some drying out lotion or something but this is what it's supposed to look like so that you can get that nice glow coming from underneath your foundation which gives you that really nice subtle healthy glow which is really nice to use so next up we are going to go in with foundation and today I am using the Rimmel London Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Comfort Serum. That's this one here. A regular to my makeup routine. Now this time I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender that I have wetted already. I've actually only recently started doing this but I think it actually gives me a better look when I use it. So I will be continuing to use it like that from now on I think. It's giving me some nice finishes once I do that. So I'm just going to pat that all over. I'll get it all off the end and then start dabbing Whew. and all that is done oh, I feel like my arm's going to fall off after all that dabbing but it does give me the kind of finish that I'm more looking for which I am very happy with which is good so we shall carry on doing it like that and maybe I might get some muscles in my arms which would be fantastic now I'm going to go in with this one, everyone's favourite, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. If you'd like me to do a review on this, then by all means give me a comment down below and I will of course do one of those for you. So, got my lovely under eye V's. And then again, just taking my beauty blender, this time I'm using the pointy end rather than the squidgy end. And I'm just going to blend that in under my eyes. I've got this in the shade Fair Natural. And I think it just gives a nice sort of lightening look as well as covering up the dark circles, which I think looks really good. So I'm actually quite pleased with this. And I do think it works really well. So I can kind of get where all of the hype comes from with it really. But I had to get it and try it out after everybody said it was their favourite. Okay, we are all now blended in. So what I'm going to do is add my NYX HD Finishing Powder. That's this one here. Just underneath my eyes to help set that a bit because if I don't, it tends to go a little bit creasy, let's say. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what is a good brush to use for doing this powdering under your eyes. I've tried using a bigger brush and it just sort of went everywhere and not really in the bit I wanted. But the smaller brush doesn't tend to pick up as much powder as I would like. So if you have any recommendations or any thoughts on that, 
give me a comment down below please so that I can then try it out because this currently is not the greatest working method for me. Okay, while that's doing its thing, I'm then going to do my brows very, very poorly because I'm rubbish at them. So, as you can see, very poorly done. And I think this may even be slightly the wrong colour as well. This is in Espresso. Espresso. So I think maybe I might need a slightly darker shade because they do look a little bit orange let's say hmm but we will see now i'm just going to use my control freak eyebrow gel by nyx this also came in the ready prep go set so i'm really getting a good use out of this okay now that bit's been done i'm just going to sweep underneath my eyes and get rid of the excess powder And now I'm ready for my normal base powder, which is the Natural Collection. And this one is the Matte Press Powder in Neutral, so you can't even really see the colour in it. Which is good, because we just want this to set my liquid foundation, really. Just putting that pretty much all over. Other than directly underneath my eyes, because I've just done that already. Make sure you get down your neck always make sure you get down your neck because I remember those days with the big old orange line going down your neck mm -mm. that's not cool anymore so we don't want to do that now I'm going in with my dream sun bronzing powder that's this one here still love this will love this for a long time if anybody's got some bronzer recommendations that you think I'd like then also give me a comment down below so I can go and try them out because this is the one and only one that I've tried so that is not very adventurous I think so if you have any recommendations then let me know and I will by all means give them a go I'm all for trying new things now that I'm all bronzed up and lovely I'm now going to use my collection contour kit highlight and sculpt that's this one here. This has actually been a really good find for me. I've used this every day since I've got it. I actually really like it and it's really affordable. I got this from Boots Online and I'm just going to do my contour. Suck in those cheekbones. <laughs> I do find it really amusing looking at people's faces as they put their makeup on. Everybody just pours different faces for different types of makeup, which I think is hilarious. I'm also one of those people that likes to see, because lots of people, they can't put mascara on without having their mouth open. And I think that's really interesting. I wonder if there's any other weird things that people do when they're doing their makeup. Now just taking the sort of subtle highlighter and putting that across my cheekbones. And most of my cheek really I want to be glowy and now just to emphasize that a bit more I'm going to go with my tiny bear cosmetics illuminating powder and this one is in champagne sorbet this one I really love and it really makes your cheeks pop so we're going to be lovely and glowy for our date night so who else is excited give it a thumbs up if you are excited for valentine's night and it's not just for those people that are in a relationship there is also some great nights out for people that are singles and ready to mingle so i'm just going to buff that up a little bit valentine's is also a good night for a girls night sit in front of the movies watch and chill i think is a really good one forget about those boys they're very naughty and very annoying but also enjoy them if you've got one and make the most of it get what you can out of the evening treat your other half right so now i'm just using my hd studio photogenic eyeshadow base from nyx this was also in the ready prep go set 
so I'm making real use of that set. It's very affordable and it was very handy. And they're all just in nice sort of travel sizes, which is good. So they're good for taking around with you. So I'm just working that into my eyelid. Now what I'm going to do here, because I know what colour top I'm going to wear, I'm going to match my eyeshadow with it, which I always think is a nice little touch there. So I've got three different brushes. I've got my Real Techniques fluffy brush. I've got my Spectrum angled brush here. And then I've got a flat brush here. And this one is from Studio London. And I'm going to use my new purchase, the Tarte, uh, Tarte Lip Pro... Uh, blah, 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 blah. The Tarte Tartiest Pro palette. This one is absolutely fab and I love it. I think it's really beautiful. Look at the colours in there. These are really nice. Some nice matte shades and nice shimmer shades as well. All of these ones in square shapes are matte ones. And then you have the uh, foil glitter ones down the side here, which are really, really nice. And I love the fact that when you get things with Tarte, they always have names written on the palette, which I think is good. I like the ones where you know what it's called, so it's easier to remember which shade you used, especially if there's a lot of similar colours, which I think is a really nice touch. It's good when you get the ones on the plastic sheet, but then you just throw it away because you don't keep it. So it's nice to have it actually on the palette. So I am going to take the colour this which is this one just here this kind of purpley color and I am going to use that as my base so I'm basically just putting a light dusting of that see this is very pigmented I just touched my brush into the palette and there is so much color that comes off with it which is fab so I'm just going to put that across my base I'm going to use this as my transition and just using a light dusting of this because I don't want to go too dark so I'm just going to buff it out really and keep on blending so it comes out as a nice sort of subtle sort of darky taupe kind of colour which is really pretty Okay, so now that I've done that, I am going to go in with this colour here, which is called Drama. And I'm going to take my Spectrum and Gold brush here, and I'm going to put that one in the crease very lightly. Wiggling it around and then sweeping across. Wiggle it around and sweep it across. Oh, hands up, who else can just sit and blend and blend and blend for ages? It's very satisfying. And you always want to get it just right. But there is that chance you will just rub all the layers of skin off your eye, which wouldn't be fun. And the other eye. Give it a wiggle and sweep. what we're doing here by doing this wiggle in the corner and then sweeping it across is just to keep it that little bit darker in the outer corner and then blending that through so this is where we're up to so far a nice sort of smoky casual look which is nice and also can be used as a very sort of fancy lush kind of look and now I'm going to go into the colour punk this one just here and I'm going to put that very lightly on the bottom I say very lightly but I just poured out a whole load of it on my brush I'm focusing mainly in this outer corner and just sweeping it across to the middle a little bit and I'm just going to do that with the other eye before I blend it okay so now I'm going to go back in with my Real Techniques fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend the heck out of that now you do get a bit of fallout with this palette so just brush that away lightly um, but it does mean that the colours are very pigmented and you don't need a lot of it either. A little bit will go a very long way with this palette 
which I absolutely love. So I will forgive the little bit of fallout because I know that it's going to last me ages anyway, which is great. I'm now going to take my Studio London flat brush, this one here, and I'm going to go into this really cool green glitter shade up here. And I am going to run that across the bottom part of my lid. And because we're going a nice, beautiful, glittery shade, I'm going to take that right across into the corner as well. And we're just going to pack that on because this colour is absolutely fabulous. And then while I have a tiny bit left on my brush, I'm just going to pull that underneath my eye as well. And do the same for the other eye. So you can see already this is giving a really, really lovely kind of emerald green kind of look, which I think is fab. And it's going to match lovely with my top that I'm going to wear, which is going to be good. Apologies if my palette keeps creeping in like this. I am totally blind without my glasses on. Right. Now we just need mascara to finish the eyes. if you get a bit on your eye because I am very good candid with it and just let it carry on drying on there and it'll be easier to get it off afterwards that's the eyes done so now that's dried a little bit just gonna take my face wipe here that I used just beforehand just pick up that little bit underneath there and the bit up there And now my eyes are looking absolutely gorgeous, and I love them. Now I'm going to use two lipsticks. They are both NYX matte lip creams. This one here is the one I'm going to use first, and this one is Buenos Aires. This is a nice sort of peachy orange kind of colour, and I'm going to put that on the base. And now I'm going to top that with the colour cans, which is my absolute favourite, I adore this colour, it's amazing and it's really good for everyday wear, so I'm perking it up a little bit with the other colour underneath now I'm just going to take my finger and then smudge them both together the lips done so this is the full makeup look now we just have hair and makeup to do well, well not makeup but hair and outfit to do so I'll be right back okay guys so this is the finished look now my eyes and my outfit are all matchy matchy and I have got my hair down as well for a change so now I am ready for Valentine's date night and I hope you are too I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already let's get that subscriber count up we really want to make this channel a real community and I'll see you very soon with a new video bye